Hi, this is Bill Knauer of Author Magazine, and today we're here at the Pacific Northwest Writers Conference in Bellevue, Washington, with Susan Wingate, author of Drowning. Welcome to Author, Susan. Thank you for having me, Bill. So, you have been writing your whole life, or did you start in the middle of your life? When did you say to yourself, this is something I want to do? I love this question because I really started seriously later in life, but I had always been writing. I'd always been writing hoping that this would be fun to do, that this would be the thing that I would um, would follow in my father's footsteps because my father was an author. Uh, he wasn't published, but he wrote these incredible stories. And I always loved his writing, and I wanted to emulate my father. So as a young girl, I started writing short stories and that sort of thing. Um, and it was in the fourth grade that one of my... Um, teachers, we were assigned a, uh, a short story to write, and she didn't really give us any limitations, just that it had a beginning, middle, and an end, and, um, and it was only a couple, maybe ten pages long, in longhand, of course, but at the end of the story, there, the actual, I remember the end, that, and there was a, a warm, salty tear flowing down her cheek. Okay, so you can remember I the can lines remember you the used. end, yes. Wow. Because the teacher put across the page two schmaltzy. Two a now I'm nine year old? I'm nine. <laughs> and I thought I thought, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I'm never gonna write again. And so I I didn't really write after that. Did you show that to your dad and say, what the, 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 the? No, I really didn't. Um, and uh, basically, it was what I do now. <laughs> I haven't changed all that much that if I get a terrible, terrible review, I just stuff it somewhere and try to forget it. And that's basically what I did. Um, but now the reviews are taken with a grain of salt with a different, of course, level of maturity and, um, and professionalism as you learn to live inside this industry, we learn that um, these people are there for a reason. We need people to say, you might want to buy this one, you won't want to buy that one. And we rely on them in part. Why do you love to teach? I was living on an island where there aren't any bridges. Right. So everything accesses by ferry or by plane. So I would, um, I would call people and finally I got a mentor, Michael Collins mentored me. Um, for two years and helped me finish my novel, which was taking... This was your first this novel? This is my first novel, and he helped me finish it, and it took 10 years. And wow. I don't... Wow. I would. I am. You started it at 39? I started it at 39, um, 38, 39 years old, and uh, wow. it took 10 years. 10 years to just say it's done, or like 10 years you'd write it and submit it and someone would say no? No, no. No, 10 years and it was done. Oh, my and, God. And I should really say that was more like eight years, but still it felt like 10 years. It was eight years, and then I think it was in 2004 that Michael Collins and I connected, and, um, and he helped me finish it. And if it hadn't been for him, there is no way I would have finished my first novel, and I don't think I would be where I am today, not without Michael Collins' help. So, um, so with that thought in my head, that's why I teach, I because if I can help somebody get around 10 years of their life and say, do it this way, this is really helpful, this is information that you need to know. So after I finished, I thought, oh my goodness, right. you know, I, I don't think do I can ever do decade, that again. Right. I don't, yeah, so I thought, if I can do it less than 10 years, I'll be happy. So that's when I wrote Bobby's Diner. So I I sat down, this was different than what I did with my first novel, I sat down and I thought, okay, I need to know on paper where I'm going. I don't want to be, you oh, know. Oh, so you tried an so outline for I, the first time. I outlined for the first time. Did you like it? I loved it, and I finished the story in four months. Wow. Ah, yeah. so this is interesting. <laughs> you know, the outlining divide amongst novels is, mm -hmm. is quite precise in a mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. And I would wager that the reason you couldn't write a novel in shorter than 10 years was because you are an outliner. I need to and you outline. didn't know you were an outliner. No, well, and I learned that, of course, after Bobby Steiner. Right. That if I, and so once I did that, then I started teaching that because I thought, oh, compared, no. Four months is much <laughs> better than 10 years. You wrote it in four months. Four months. How long did it take you to outline it? Just about a month. Wow. Yeah. A lot of the viewers 
are like you in that they came to their writing career in the middle of their working, their adult mm -hmm. life, mm -hmm. and they're looking <laughs> to get a career going, sort of a second career going. Mm -hmm. What is your advice to them in particular, the grown-up who says, I want to do this now and I've waited a long time to do it? Right. I think the, the one thing that I could say is just do it. Just, you know, think of the Nike swoosh and just do it and don't let anybody say otherwise. If that's what you want to do, do it. Keep writing, keep writing, keep writing, definitely. And um, getting the word out and submitting. Submit like crazy. You'll get picked up. Do you say, should they go to conferences? Absolutely. I Why? Mean, well, because, well, uh, several reasons. There are so many reasons to go to conferences. Of course, there's the learning part. That's, that is the, the main reason. But there's this energy at conferences, all of these like-mind souls that are together and connecting and, and hopeful. There's, a, there's, there's inspiration and there's hope and everything that goes with it. And there's friends that you'll meet for a lifetime. And um, everybody's doing the same thing. Everybody wants the same thing. And you'll just meet the people that will influence the rest of your life. That's what happened with me um, at, uh, it was the Peninsula Writers Association Conference in 2004. Um, that was at Gig Harbor, and that's where I met Michael Collins. You meet people that will change your life. 